indeed. It's Wines Day Wednesday. We're ready to play our royal wedding edition of Who Knew in honor, of course, of Harry and Meghan's big day. We're going to test your knowledge of the royal family. Kathy Lee, across the street at the shop at NBC Studios in 30 Rock. She's ready to hand out 100 bucks to anybody who gets the questions right and a signed copy of her book to those who don't. Indeed, here with me is our own British beauty, today's style contributor, Zana Roberts Rossi. Good How you doing? Good morning. You got your bags packed? I am packed, passport at the ready. We are all flying out soon. Kath, why don't you get us started? All right, where are you from, hon? I'm from Southport, Connecticut, okay. your neighbor. Oh, your beautiful fa family here. Right. Where does Prince Harry fall in the order of succession to the British throne? Is it second, fifth, or sixth? Sixth. It is indeed six, right? Absolutely. So who, okay, so first, first we have Charles, Charles. then we have William, William, then we have William's children, oh. and now obviously Prince Louis has bumped Harry from Louis fifth to sixth. Harry. But also great news for Charlotte right. because there's a new act in place that instead of her getting overtaken by a brother, she's actually in the line for the throne instead of her younger brother taking a place. Okay, so good to know. About that. Go all in line. <laughs> all right, Kath, over to you. Hello, Mrs. Cakehead. Where are you from? New Orleans. Oh, that explains yeah. the cake. Okay, yeah. true or false, the Queen of England does not need a passport when traveling overseas. False? Uh, oh, the answer is true. true. She absolutely she does not need no. a passport. She issues the passport. She basically is the passport. She is the human passport. Is the passport. Right. I can't imagine her at immigration, like, shuffling through her bag trying to pull a passport <laughs> Right. Out. The one person on earth who doesn't need one. By the way, I love that New Orleans woman with that hat. Kath, back to you. One. Okay, we're running out of time. Where are you from? Out here in New York. Okay. You are. Congratulations. You're not only playing for yourself, but also playing for viewers at home, all right? All right. Uh, let's see. In the upcoming season of The Crown, Queen Elizabeth's sister, Princess Margaret, will be played by Kira Knightley, Helena Bonham Carter, or Emma Thompson? Helena Bonham Carter. <laughs> by the way, can we, first of all, it's awesome that she's playing that role. Right. Tell us about that. Um, so she is going to play the role of um, a Princess Margaret yeah. and instead of Victoria Kirby. But a great interesting fact is that the Queen apparently watched episode one. <gasps> she did? And loved it. By the way, The Crown, if you haven't oh. watched it, it's a good thing to watch right now before, right. The, before it starts. All right, we are, we're not done here. We're going to come back. But since our third question was answered correctly, five viewers at home will have the chance to win a $200 gift card. So go to klgandhoda.com. So we're back now with round two of Who Knew All About the Royal Family. I'm here with today's style contributor, Zana Ro Roberts Rossi. Cats across the street. Questioning our crowd that are decked out, by the way, in their British finest. They look great, Kath. They do, they do. Okay, what was, where are you from, honey? Texas. All righty. What was the name of Meghan Markle's character on Suits? Was it Donna, Katrina, or Rachel? C. Yes. <laughs> it was Rachel it was on Rachel. Suits. Yes. And you know what um, Meghan what? Markle's real name is? What? Rachel. Real life. Oh, really? Rachel Megan Markle. Oh, Megan's her middle name. And this is a great piece of video of her from Suits in a wedding in dress. In a wedding dress. How odd. Will it be anything like that? No. I wonder. Oh, we'll have to see. <laughs> Kath, over to you. Lovely lady from Minnesota. All right. Prince William and Kate recently welcomed their third child at St. Mary's Hospital in London. Who was the first heir to the throne to be born in a hospital? Was it Prince Charles, Queen Elizabeth, or Prince William? I think it was Prince William. Yeah! $100 for you. <laughs> yes. Okay, so wait. Prince Charles was not born in a hospital? Prince Charles was born in Buckingham Palace. Queen Elizabeth was born in the residency in Mayfair. So Prince William was actually the first heir to the throne to be born in hospital, as obviously all of his kids, St. Mary's, in the private wing. Okay, so for Prince Charles, they brought in the doctors and the whole bit into they the house. All rushed. All in. right, Kath, over to you. This lady's from Wisconsin. Which of these is not an official residence of the Queen of England? Buckingham Palace, Kensington Palace, or Windsor Castle? Buckingham. Uh, oh, hey, my fabulous book. Yes, yeah, she does. The correct answer there. 
<laughs> is Kensington. Kensington, Kensington Palace. Kensington Palace. All yeah, right. Yeah, she does not live there, but she does have six other residences dotted around the country. Wow. <laughs> all right, sweetie. Well, we'll see you at the airport, all right? And airport. we're going to see you in England when we get there. Don't forget to go to klgandhoda.com for your chance to win a $200 gift card. Tune in tonight for our NBC special. It's called Inside the Royal Wedding. It's at 10 9 Central. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.